All right, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, this is going to be your general reading for March 2022. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so not all messages is going to be resonating with you. I'm going to be pulling from the Moonology deck. All right, we pull for your overall energy. Also, we're going to be using these cards at the end to get some advice or to see what else you need to know about the situation. But we're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tail deck. For your tail spread, for a general spread to see what's happening for you in general. All right, what you can be expecting in love, career, and personal, just what's coming towards you for March that you need to know. So I pulled in the karma. I mean, I said the card. I was like karma. Um, <laughs> let's just get into it. So I already pulled your card and my camera shut off, so I had to do it again. But we have nothing will come out of the situation, and then we have surrender to the divine. And under that, we have it's time to release negativity. It's full moon of Scorpio. You have two full moons, so the full moon could have been very significant for you. The full moon was in Leo, which is a fellow fixed sign, so could be dealing with a fixed sign. Also, have the king of wands at, at the bottom of the deck, so it could be dealing with fixed sign. But when nothing will come out of the situation. I feel like something could have ended abruptly with you and the person, or you could have. Or you could have not gotten a job and i feel like you want answers it was just one on one on the time you want answers to figure out why you didn't get the job or why you didn't get what you were looking for was surrender to the divine yeah i feel like something was taken out of your life around the full moon or a full moon it could have been the full moon in cancer that was in january just something around the full moon all right could be done with a cancer as well because moons remind me of cancer energy but they knew that nothing was going to come out of the situation i feel like you could be stressed all right i feel like this person could have had a negative impact on you or the situation or this job saying that you didn't know what was happening behind the scenes for example say you wanted a job and you get the job and you didn't know they're paying the people bare minimum they barely had breaks and or you could figure out like you know someone could have went towards somebody else all right and the whole time you're being saved yeah listen could be done with a scorpio or a cancer literally i split the deck into scorpio and cancer all right or th that just has some influence. let's see let's see oh i just seen a double card clarifying that yeah i feel like in the moon card see in the sun and listen this is gonna be very straightforward this is gonna i i can already tell it's gonna be a straightforward reading yeah but there's something that you need to not stress about and surrender it to the divine to god all right i feel like you may be getting communication about this about what's happening yeah the moon reverse there's things that are going to be revealed knight of swords yeah there's things that's going to be revealed about this situation that you did not know about and you're going to be so glad that this situation or this person did not work out so let's see don't pay attention to my arm i'm sorry all right let's see for aquarius what can aquarius be expecting we had the judgment in reverse. This was your first card last time. That's crazy. But it was upright. What can Aquarius be expecting in March? All right. Six of Swords moving away from something. We have the Ace of Swords. We love it. Okay. Can I have one more card so we can just talk about it? And then we have the Lovers in reverse. We have a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Yes. There's something there's something that you guys are currently stressed about and i feel like you're gonna be seeing why and i feel like someone that's unreliable too with the king of pentacles in reverse especially if it's a person and the lovers in reverse now the lovers and the devil card they're very similar they're basically the same as that card but the lovers upright is healthy when the lovers is in reverse it's basically the devil card upright and you basically have the devil card yeah i feel like with the six of swords and judgment in reverse i feel like you were forced to move away from something because the judgment take, talks about making that decision on your own but in reverse i feel like it was something that was forced that happened but it's sort of i feel like there's a lot of clarity coming towards you and i feel like there's gonna be clarity about the connection i feel like you could be getting insights through visions and meditation about why a situation didn't work or in your dreams with this nine of swords yeah yeah something else that you were forced to walk away from or right? you may have blocked communication with somebody as well okay this could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius or you could have that i mean you're an air sign but you could have that heavy in your chart as well 
all right i feel like there will be communication once you move away from this connection i feel like you're seeing the more you're away from it the more i see i was supposed to say, listen the more you're away from it the more you're seeing what it is and the seven of the cups talks about illusions delusions seven of the cups in reverse is seeing beyond the smokes and mirrors and what's under that the seven of swords lying cheating and deceiving i feel like you're gonna see you're gonna see this person for who they are the more you're away from this person the more you're not speaking to this person the more you're not in communication with this person or the situation all right some of you guys could be moving or traveling in march as well all right also some of you guys could be meeting a new air sign okay king of cups could be a water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio page of cups we have the hermit in reverse and then we have the lovers in reverse three of swords in reverse whatever this is i do see you healing from it okay with a hermit in reverse, I see you going back outside again, all right, with a will. There's a lot of abundance coming towards you, but there's definitely an ending happening. I do, like I said, I do see another person coming towards you because I have two suitors right here, all right? But yeah, with this page, with this page of cups in reverse and the six of swords, I feel like this person is going to make a small attempt to come in. I don't want to say reconcile with you, but give you an apology, but it's a fake apology. This person could be watching you right now, currently as well. With the Hermit card in reverse, I feel like there's going to be a lot of deep reflection, isolation that you're going to be doing. I don't see much coming up about your career, so that means you need to focus on your career. But with Judgment in reverse, I feel like also you were being protected without you even realizing that you're being protected. Especially with Surrender to Divine, I feel like you're divinely guided, divinely protected. And I feel like this negative energy was released from you. And I feel like sometimes you think you want it back, but... We have the devil in reverse. Look at that. We have the devil in reverse and we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, two of pentacles. Some of you guys could be hesitating, trying to see if you made the right decision. Time was going to show you that you did. I just seen the fool card and the ace of pentacles. I need one more card, not two. And we have the nine of pentacles. Three of wands in reverse. I feel like this person will come back after you move on from them. Yeah. Especially they went towards something else. Three of Wands reverse third party. Five of Cups. He's looking at the three cups that spill, which is the third party. And then we have Six of Pentacles reverse giving the two situations. Especially this person gave the two situations. All right. This person made a wrong decision. I felt like this person left, lost out on someone who actually cared about them. All right. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. This person had a decision to make. And I feel like they're coming back after you don't care anymore. I feel like this person's going to think that you're waiting on them. This person could think that you're waiting on them. And I feel like they're going to be shocked when they come back and they figure out that you moved on. Like, they're going to come back. They're going to be at your door and be like, okay, I'm ready for this. After whatever they went to doesn't have their attention anymore. And then I feel like they're going to be just completely over it. With a four of swords reverse, you're not even going to be thinking about it anymore. You're not even focused on it. Like that. I'm going to pull two of my cards or three. We have the Knight of Cups to reverse. Yeah, this person, they could have, they could be emotionally manipulative. They could fake emotions to get what they want as well. Four of Wands in reverse. Because this person, this person knew that they weren't ever going to be able to offer you something, but they were afraid to tell you that because they know that they told you that you wouldn't want to be involved with them. Yeah, this person was thinking very selfishly for themselves. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is going to have them in regret. Yeah, selfish. King of Swords in reverse. They could have been selfish, all right? With the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Last Six of Pentacles in reverse right here. Yep. They're going to figure out that they gave to the wrong situation. Hold on. Because I feel like something that they're investing in is not going to have investments back inside of it. Seven of Wands. See, Five of Swords. Five of Swords and a Page of Wands. Also, I feel like you could be manifesting a new creative spark. Like, I feel like you're going to get this creative idea and it actually could make you some money. All right. I don't see you taking action on it yet, but I just see you having the idea or the idea shows up when you're daydreaming. Okay. Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of enlightenment during this time. All right. So let's see what else information you need to know. Aquarius. What else, what else does Aquarius need to know?
We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Honestly, this is healing because with a new romantic cycle, we can have one more to clarify that. Don't let your pride get in your way. See, in a time for healing, like I said, I don't think this is actually a new romantic cycle. I think this is healing for you. With a time for healing. I shuffled some more. I just knew it. That wasn't the energy that I was getting. I feel like there's this energy where you need to heal a bit because if you jump inside of something with somebody else, there could be a Leo that comes towards you that could act very cocky or this person could be a Leo. There's a need for you to avoid relationships right now and focus on healing and that's what we got we have wow we have confidence is your key to success new moon and leo so we have full moon and leo so that moon and leo um a few weeks ago could have been very significant for you and we have you are good enough full moon and virgo so leo leo virgo season leo virgo libra season they're right around to around each other that time could be very significant for you but with you are good enough there's a need for you to focus on your healing and your success of money so everything else can come into fruition for you we also have under that a new start is coming and have faith in your dreams yeah so the more you have faith that you deserve something good or the more you have faith that you deserve something that's more in your love the more you're going to get that when a new start is coming there will be a brand new start but we do have full moons here so there's a need for you to close certain things out and i feel like this person may come around leo season like around the summertime all right yeah wanting a new start with you but there's a need for you to be careful with this person yeah but don't let pride in your way like i said this person could have been selfish and egotistical but with you are good enough i feel like you're realizing that and i feel like you guys are understanding that you deserve better all right and that's why a new cycle is coming all right so that is what i have for you aquarius okay that is what i have for you um everything's gonna be down in the description box below if you want to look at it if you want to read um <laughs> i hope to see you guys next week and i'll observe monthly reading